Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you guys how to use this um, Kanban, Kanban inventory app um, and how to create an, your own instance of this app so you can use it um, to make yourself your inventory. Um, and so basically what this, um, see what I set out to do with this app was just to create a simple way to um, keep track of all of your in inventory items in terms of um, where they are, how much you should order, and um, you know the manufacturer, the vendor, things like that. So um, before I was just using um, this spreadsheet, which is similar to this spreadsheet. Um, basically it's just, you know, it's just a, um, bunch of fields that you would fill, fill in and check boxes that you would check and um, it was fine it, it worked okay but it, it was just so complicated and there were a bunch of formulas in there and so um, people kept overwriting the formulas and so um, so I found um, glide apps which is this service here um, which just allows you to make an app based off of a spreadsheet to basically make a, a more user-friendly um, interface for you to work with the spreadsheet. Um, so I'm just going to go through all of the, the features of the app first and then I'll show you guys how to um, how to make it work for, for you. Um, so basically um, within here you have um, a bunch of fields you can fill out so the part number, manufacturer, vendor, URL, aisle and shelf number, um, how many you should reorder each time if you track it in your inventory and then um, like an inventory code um, and then you can add new items um, you can say if it's a sales item or not um, the reason why we do this with uh, um, is because if it's a um, sales item then we have a um, different I code that is generated in our um, in another sales system that we use so um, if you don't have that where you're not working with another inventory system um, you could just say that nothing is a sales item and, and just type in your own I code there um, which can be whatever system you want um, so um, yeah you can say if it's tracked in the inventory and then enter in all this information. And then um, one big problem that we were having is, you know, we would fill in these things and, um, you know, maybe we wouldn't have all the information when we were filling it out. And so we would have items that, that, that had missing data. Uh, maybe it didn't have the aisle or the shelf number or something like that. So um, we have this, um, this here that, basically just tells you all of the items um, that are missing some piece of data. So um, if we go to paper towel, also search here. If you go to paper towel, you can see that, okay, it's missing the part number, it's missing the manufacturer. Um, let's see if the manufacturer is down to, so let's put that in there. Um, and see that pops up and um, so, you know, it, it just gives you um, a place to, to look. What, what we've been doing is every day we, we pick something on here and we fill in the missing information. Just gives us a, a way to, to figure out quickly what we need to fill in. Um, so then, um, I'll show you guys this before I show you the email, email URL. Um, so then once you have filled in your information, you want to create a Kanban card, you just go here and you can look for um, number four. So we want to make a Kanban card for number four black trick line. So we go here, and then it um, because we have selected it here, it brings it in here, and then fills in all the information that we have. 
Um, and so then we just print this card. We, we always print it at 65% size, um, which gives us roughly four on a page. Um, and so we just print this out on cardstock, um, and then we put that with the item. And then this QR code, when you scan it, um, it'll bring you immediately to the website, and you can look look here at the order quantity, and you can see, okay, you know, go to this website, order four, and then we been we keep track of how many we ordered, when we ordered it, when we got it, um, and so that way, you know, it, as you're ordering these, you can look back at how often you're ordering this, and you can start to think, oh, okay, maybe we don't need to order four of these. Maybe we can just order two next time. Um, so that is, uh, you know, that's that's been pretty helpful. Um, so then. The other thing that we've that we've had is um, some vendors they only want uh, an email for us to order items. You know, so they want they want us to send them an email that that says like, hey, we want um, five of these parts, and um, we want them to be s specific specifications. Um, and some of those specifications are are really detailed so you know to have to write that email every time it's like pretty painful so um, we made this um, email URL creator um, that basically what you would do is you you type in what you want your subject to be what you want the to address to be and then you would type in the full body of the email um, and then um, you would then click this button, which then copies this mail to link. And then you would go to Linkly HQ. Um, let's see if I can actually. Sorry, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but it's part of it. Um, so then. From here, you can um, let's see how do we create a new link? Not oh, create new link. So then, destination. We do. Let's make sure I have something here. So um, even though they show you these fields here, it, it's um, we we do have that all combined contained within this link. Um, so then you would just save the link, and then um, once you get the link from Linkly, you would just then go back into your app. And you would use that as the URL, the link that you get from Linkly. Um, and then that way, what what happens is you can just scan your um, Kanban card that you create, and then it'll automatically enter in the full email that you created. Um, and then you just don't have to write out those very specific emails anymore. So as far as how to get this set up for uh, for yourself, you're going to create an account uh, using Glide Apps, um, and you have to sign up with Google because it's going to create um, create uh, a spreadsheet in your Google Drive. So you want to navigate to this link here. I'll put in the description. Click copy this app. Basically, it's going to copy the app to your Glide account, and then it's also going to create a spreadsheet that is your own. So, um, okay, so now we have an instance of the app, and we're just going to go edit sheet. Because we want to take out all of our data and put your own data. So, item info. 
So we're going to delete everything except for the first record. There are some formulas contained in that first row, so that's why we're going to delete everything but this one. So you can replace these things here. Um, the only thing that shouldn't be touched is the QR code, just because there is a formula here. Um, so then, not sure. So, you know, these things may have to be refreshed from time to time just to get, there we go, just to get it to, um, to work. But there we go. So, um, so yeah, now you'll see that the only item is paper towels. Um, and, yeah, so now you're pretty much ready to go, and you can start adding your items um, just like that. And, yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or maybe even uh, things to change about this app, um, you know, let me know, and we can figure something out. Um, the great thing is is that um, Glide does have a pretty active community um, of people who are, you know, all working on cool apps. And you can go into their forum and uh, you can, uh, you know, just post, share your app with them, tell them what you want to do, um, and uh, you can you know, you can make your own changes as well. So, all right. I hope that helps.